It is a beautiful sunny day, but it's a Friday. But I have been overdoing it the last couple of weeks. We've been running anatomy exams, marking anatomy exams, got another one coming up, another one to mark, year three coursework. As you saw last week, I was working away for the weekend at Sheffield, uh, planning for just a billion things going on, plus all the normal teaching, and I've stretched myself out a little bit too far. So I'm not taking a day off, but Ben wanted to go climbing this morning, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna spend the morning outdoors and climbing and just thinking about that and nothing else, and then see how I feel after that. See if that like resets me a bit, and then work this afternoon. I'm gonna leave this camera and I'm gonna take uh, this little guy out with me so I can keep it simple and just relax and not have to worry about filming and stuff. I'm gonna take the electric car because diesel costs a fortune right now. Although to be honest, I can't take the electric car anyway. Marking today, Saturday. I've swapped. I've swapped Ben for Kim. <laughs> so we're going to go and do some chilled out sport climbing. Oh, step, gate, and a step. So I think it is a problem these days with um, the amount of work that we all have to do. I don't know if it's a Western thing. I don't know if it applies around the world. But we have jobs, and if we're students, we have stuff we have to get done. And there's no way of reducing, or like if, if you if you push yourself too hard, you've done too much, you need a break. There is no way of taking a break when you need it. You can only schedule it a long time in advance. So when you start to burn yourself out and get knackered, you can't say, "Wait, I need to take a break now. I need to stop, just collect myself, recover." and then get going again. No, because we've got deadlines. Um, I think all employers are guilty of this and partly it's us employees as well, right? Is that we want to get this stuff done. And I certainly know as part of my mental health, if I get stuff done, tick it off, I worry about it less, so I feel better about stuff, right? Um, I think that's something we can improve on. We could build in some some redundancy, some overlap, some backup, so we can say that, oh, you know, and of course, we've all got these egos, haven't we? We can't say, you know what, I'm, I'm done for a bit. We, we can't do that, because we've got to be shown to be the hard worker and the person that gets things done and, uh, you know, competent. Um, but we should build into our 
into our jobs, into our lives. We should look at the employees and be able to say, you need to take a couple of days and then we'll, we'll get back to it. Easier said than done, I know. I think it's that headland over there, I think. The joys of sea cliff climbing is finding the cliff when you're above it. It's easy when you're sat in a kayak. You can see the whole thing. There's the roller. It was the wrong peak, it's the next peak. It's very windy and sunny. Right, let's go. Very windy. It's a nice length, you can actually feel the weight of the rope underneath you as you're getting really high. Right. Okay, take! Lovely and chill, isn't it? Yeah, really lovely. So chill, I could have a little nap now. Coffee, coffee, and then back to marking. Right, well, we will get it done bit by bit. <laughs> 